Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'll be talking about quality gates in SonarCube. This video is going to be an addition to our SonarCube playlist. This is the third video. I have already made two videos. One was on SonarCube setup from scratch and code analysis using SonarCube. And the second video is on generating code coverage on SonarCube dashboard using Jacoco plugin. And if you haven't watched that video yet, you can watch it from the i button or from the link in the description. So without any further ado, let's start with this video. In this video, I'll talk about the code analysis process and then we will see what are quality gates and how does it help. I will also show you how you can create quality gates on SonarCube and then at the end, we will also analyze code with quality gates on SonarCube. So let's first talk about the code analysis process. As we know, SonarCube is a static code analyzer tool. It helps us to improve the overall code quality by providing some detailed information about the code base. It also helps us to detect areas of code which can be simplified or refactored. Also, it helps in finding bugs early in the development cycle, which means less cost to fix them. There are a lot of features available on SonarCube tool which can help us to improve the overall code quality. I have talked about a few of them over here. You can read more about it on the SonarCube documents. Also with SonarCube, you can implement custom rules which you feel is important to maintain the code quality. Let's talk about quality gates. Quality gates can be defined as a set of rules or threshold measures you have set for your project. So for example, let's say code coverage. Let's say you and your team has decided to maintain the code coverage of 90% for your project. Similar to that, we have blocker issues. These issues can be identified by SonarCube tool uh, which is already built in or you can implement your custom rules which you may think that is critical and needs to be resolved before pushing your code to production. Similarly, we have other quality gates like duplicated blocks or let's say security hotspots. So there are a few quality gates which are available on SonarCube. So I will show you some of the quality gates which are available on SonarCube in some time. Also quality gates helps you to maintain the coding standards in your project. So yeah, that's about the quality gates. Next, we will see how we can create quality gates on SonarCube. So for that, I'll go to SonarCube dashboard. So here, as you can see, we have already set up this SonarCube dashboard in one of our previous video. Here, we already have a project listed on SonarCube dashboard. So we have already analyzed this code in one of our previous video. So here, as we see, there is a code coverage of 80.4% and then there are other information available here. So what we will do next is we'll simply create a quality gate for this project. So I'll go to this option quality gate and under this we have an option create. So from here we can create a quality gate. So I'll name it as code coverage. I'll simply save it. So now after saving that you will get something like this where you will be shown few options. So here we have this option add condition. So I'll simply click on this. So on this pop-up, we have two options on new code, on overall code, which means where do we want to enable this quality gates? Do we want this to be enabled for only for the new code, which we are going to push later on, or we want to enable it for the overall code. For now, I will select this option. So from this drop down, you can select the quality gates which you want to enable for your project. For now, I'll select coverage because I want to set the code coverage limit here. So I'll set 90%, which means that if my code coverage for the project is less than 90%, then we should see some error on the dashboard. Okay. So let's add this condition and let's see how it works. And here, if you see under conditions, we have conditions on overall code and this is what we have created. So it has few columns so the first column says it is a metric so the metric is coverage which simply means that code coverage and the operator is it says it is less than and the value is 90 percent that means the coverage if it is less than 90 percent then it should raise a alert okay so we have this quality gate defined over here uh, now the next thing you need to do is like you have to select the project from here i'll click on all and then here you will see the projects which are available on your dashboard so for us we only have one project so we need to check this box and we are done now what we can do we can simply go to the project here we have this green box which says passed and here it is mentioned all conditions passed right but here if you see on the overall code we have 80 percent so ideally it should source some error right but it is not happening because we need to run the sonarcube command so that our quality gate can detect this right so for that what i'll do i'll simply go to the terminal here under the project directory here all i need to do is i need to run this sonarcube command here we simply need to run gradle sonarcube with these attributes uh, i have already talked about this command in the previous video 
you can watch it from there for now i'll simply enter this this will simply run the sonar cube analyzer on the code base so now we can see that the build is successful so i simply need to go to the sonar cube dashboard and refresh it so on refresh now you can see it is showing error so let's go to the project section once more here on the home page it is showing failed so if you go inside you can simply come here and see the reason for it so here it says one condition failed and which is coverage is less than 90 percent that means we have successfully enabled the quality gate for this project in the similar way you can enable multiple quality gates for your project which you think is important to maintain the overall code quality so that's about how we can have quality gate on sonar cube now the question is how will you ensure that your team members is taking care of these failures for that we simply have to set up a job on our ci tool so let's say if you are using jenkins or go city you can set up a job and there we can simply force the jenkins build job to fail if the code does not meet the specified quality gates so that's how we can use the sonar cube quality gates on build to ensure the overall code quality so if you find this video helpful please like the video so that it can reach to more people and also if you have any suggestions or doubt you can let me know in the comment section that's all about this video if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon so that you get notified for our upcoming new videos thank you for watching